Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson. I don't even need to say Williamson. I could just say Zion. Because that brother is just Zion. He is averaging 21 points per game. 7.7 um, .7 rebounds per game. His efficiency is unbelievable. 57.6. And, you know, he's doing good. But the question here is, can Zion, the way how he's playing right now, can he pass John Morant for Rookie of the Year? No. So, <clears throat> Zion, he is having an incredible rookie year so far. I think through 10, what has he played, 10 games so far maybe? Yeah. 10 games. He's looked dominant. He has looked what we were expecting him. He could have been a, maybe even an all-star if he kept if he was healthy because he would have got the votes. I mean, everyone loves him. But uh, that it's I don't think we've ever seen a rookie in the all-star game. I could be completely wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. But Zion, I don't think he can pass Ja because of the year Ja is having. Ja has the Grizzlies in the eight seed right now, and he and he's rolling. He just had his first career triple double. He is he is on a roll. He he makes that team good right now. He makes that team good right now. And um, I, Zion is he just had 31 and nine last night, I believe. And he's doing he's having a cr crazy good start. Something we've never seen before. And this is why I gotta disagree with you here, Money Mike, because in the question it said, "Can Zion pass Ja Morant?" Can is the key word here. I think Zion can. Now will he? It's a different story. I think ultimately Ja Morant will win Rookie of the Year, and I'm not gonna go against that because I predicted that before the season started, before even Zion got hurt, I predicted Ja Morant was gonna win Rookie of the Year because I also believe he's another talented guy. You know what I'm saying? The, oh my God, this guy is talented. You know what I'm Zion, saying? The, Zion and our, um, Zion and Ja are gonna run the league. They're gonna run exactly, but. You know, can Zion pass Ja Morant? Yes. I think if, let's say, the scenario is, it may be a long shot, but it's possible. It's sports, it's possible. I saw it over 2020 vision, it's possible. Let's say the Pelicans, you know what I'm saying? Let's say the Pelicans pass the Grizzlies. I, right? I, I hope they do. And I get that AC. Yeah. Then that's all Zion right mm. there. So you will have to, at that point, reevaluate this to be like, Zion is the best, one of the most important players in the NBA. He got the Pelicans to an eight seed. So therefore, because of his success and him leading his team, I would have to give him Rookie of the Year. But that's the only scenario. Now, I don't see it happening, but it's possible. Because, if you know, obviously he's going to pay more minutes as time, you know, goes on or whatever. And they're going to take him off what I call the low management witness protection program. I call it that because, you know, they be watched, they ministers watch and all that. So, you know, he could, I think so, you know, but like I said, nothing to take away from Ja. I think he would win it. I think he will win it. He's averaging 17 points per game, 7.1 assists. His body of work is much longer. He been balling since the season started. I remember that famous matchup he had with Kyrie Irving. That was one of the best games I've seen throughout the whole year. Kyrie versus John Morant, that was awesome. And like you said, the Grizzlies are in the eighth spot right now. The Pelicans are in the 11th spot. And it's a five game difference. Creeping, they're creeping. But they creeping, for sure. So I think it's possible, but we'll see. I, 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 do, I really think it's possible, but very unlikely. Um, but we've seen crazier things happen in sports. That's another reason why you know, there's a comment real quickly. Um, a rival executive said that the Lakers, there's no shot the Lakers um, beat the yeah, Clippers in a seven not, game series. Enough, they said. I, I would say that that's kind of naive, mm -hmm. saying that there's no shot. Yeah, I don't. Be because yeah. I still think the Clippers, yeah, they'll probably win a game seven. But it's, to say there's no shot means you haven't been watching sports for mm -hmm. all these daggone years, especially last year. There's just. Put that out there, you know what I'm saying? Because we all seen the impossible in sports. You know what I'm saying? Hell, earlier this week was the 30th year anniversary where Mike Tyson got defeated and then he lost. He got knocked out by Buster Douglas. So to sit here and say nothing is impossible in sports, especially we got King James and AD, two superstars on that one team, you must be out your mind. Hmm. Douglas was a 30 to 1 favorite. 30 to 1 uh, underdog. 30 to 1. Exactly. He won. Uh, LeBron. That's that's LeBron. unbelievable. Yeah. That's that's the. I mean, I don't know how how much odds was David and Goliath. Yeah. What was the odds on that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that gotta be in that same range. You know what I'm saying? And David pulled off the upset when he slinged those three rocks at Goliath. You know what I'm saying? And then it started a riot. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't tired. 607-753-4819. Once again, 607-753-4819. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into the Real Lil Show. My guy Craig just walked up in the building. You know what I'm saying? He's here. Ladies and gentlemen, we here. Money Mike is here. The Real Lil is here. And y'all here. Oh my gosh. We got a lot to get into. Also, our predictions coming up.